Hey everyone, PJD here. Today I'm showing you shea butter and you're probably wondering why am I showcasing shea butter. It's so common you can go to just about any beauty supply store, not just those stores but lots of stores and just find shea butter or your cocoa butter. Well the thing with this shea butter is it's supposed to be the Rolls Royce edition of shea butter. It's actually called Nilotica shea butter. It's not something that you can commonly find in stores. Even on the net, it's not something that's a bit, okay, you'll find it being sold on many websites, or, or some websites, I should say, but some of those sites just look shady. Maybe it's just the presentation that would make me not want to purchase from those sites, <laughs> but it could very well end up being that they're uh, not criminals at all. But I got mine from Darcy's Botanicals because I had purchase many things from that Etsy store and everything seemed to be fine she whips the shea butter and I must say I've whipped my shea butter but I, I want to say I think at one point she says she whips it for hours um, and I've definitely never whipped my shea butter or my cocoa butter for hours so this is the creamiest and lightest shea butter I've ever felt okay so she her whipping is really great the reason why this Nilotica Shea Butter is supposed to be the Rolls Royce edition is because it, it's supposed to absorb into your skin more easily or more readily than any other Shea Butter. Um, it's supposed to be more effective in preventing stretch marks and also reducing the appearance of them if you have them. It's also for um, eczema, people who have apparently found release, relief uh, in using this Nilotica Shea Butter. Also, um, if you have dry a dry scalp, this is supposed to be your cure-all. Now the thing I must say about it and is when you put this on, it's like yes, your skin feels moisturized and nice without feeling greasy. So they're, they're right about that. It doesn't ha leave this greasy film when you rub it in, yet you kind of have a nice shine from it. So I like the product. Now I put it on a scar because this is also supposed to be like a scar minimizer. And as you can see, I didn't finish the jar, but because it's so moisturizing and just a little goes a long way, I've actually been using this for, I want to say two months. And see, and I use this just about every day. This is a four ounce jar and it costs, are you ready? $25, I know, for this small tub. And I have to tell you, I've been putting it on a scar that I have on my knee and I went to see if it would reduce the appearance of it I gotta say so far I mean I mean it feels great on the skin but in terms of reducing the appearance of that scar no no it hasn't done a thing uh, I'll keep going until this is finished <laughs> maybe you have to use like a four ounce jar on it for it to see some real results but in that regard no I, I haven't seen anything um, I haven't seen it being effective in that regard. It's also supposed to reduce fine lines and wrinkles. So it's like this is your anti-aging scar minimizer thing all in one. I don't have any wrinkles so I haven't, I can't attest to that either. But uh, I can tell you that it's moisturizing. But it's a little price and you will find it a little bit cheaper on some other sites. But again, I didn't like how some of those sites look. So I went ahead and went with Darcy's. But I can't say that I would necessarily run to purchase this again only because it, it's not reducing the scar and that's kind of why I purchased it. I, I have other things that can moisturize my skin. I don't necessarily need another shea butter to um, reduce the, the appearance of my, uh, I'm sorry, I don't need another shea butter to moisturize my skin because I have moisturizers. Um, I don't have uh, eczema. It's supposed to be effective in that. I don't have rosacea. It's supposed to be effective if you have rosacea and a couple of other skin issues. So I, I just can't attest to those things. But I can say this is super light, whipped really well. Darcy's does a great job with that. Uh, it is moisturizing. I've not used it on my hair, but just skin, just my body. So that's kind of it for the Nilotica wouldn't necessarily get it again unless by the time I finish this jar my scar has been reduced then I'll definitely come back and, and let you know how that all worked out I also want to tell you another tip from Dr. Oz something he mentioned on the Oprah Winfrey show he said whenever you're going out in the sun the sun is so powerful that it's essentially frying your hair so he recommends and I know some of you already do this he recommends going out in the sun with 
something on your hair you need to coat it you need to protect it he said you can put and I know a lot of people put um, actual conditioner in their hair he was saying you can use a, a leave-in conditioner um, but some people use actual conditioner especially if they're going to the beach because they know that they're gonna wash their hair later anyway so it really doesn't matter but when you're gonna be out in the Sun for ex extended periods of, of time just make sure that you've coated your hair so that it's not just dry hair exposed to the Sun and then it's becoming even more dry because the Sun is frying it as he mentioned the other thing was he said in your shower you should get a, a, a charcoal filter now I have never used a charcoal filter in my life but it basically looks similar to a filter that you would have a water filter in your kitchen at, at the sink and how people have those attachments um, so that their water is supposed to be more pure or a little better with this filter so a similar thing he said you can get it from department stores you can get it from a hardware store and you put this in your shower head you make the little connection and this charcoal filter is supposed to reduce the amount of chlorine that comes on your hair he said because chlorine is so damaging to your hair as some swimmers can tell you uh, chlorine is so damaging to your hair that you need to make sure that you have this filter so it's protecting your hair and not damaging it any further I he said he has it in every like bathroom of his house I've never had a charcoal filter if my hair is being damaged by chlorine that's coming through then I guess it is <laughs> um, not that I'm opposed to buying a, a charcoal filter it's just um, you know I'm just hearing about it recently you know when Dr. Oz mentioned it don't think it's something I'm gonna run out and get but that's that um his other thing also related to hair was dr oz was saying you need to make sure oh i'm sorry hold on sorry back so dr oz was saying do not wash your hair so frequently now as many of you know i wash my hair just about every three days or so he said don't wash your hair for and i've heard this argument before um, he, he said don't wash your hair frequently because it's stripping your hair of the natural oils that your body will produce <sighs> okay I know that around that third day my hair starts to look a little off so by what and it's not that it's dirty he said only wash your hair when it's dirty he said you should not be washing it frequently unless you are like working underneath a, a car every day Right, so other than that, just wash it when it's dirty. And my hair is not dirty every three days, but it starts to look, it, it loses that kind of um, thing, that it factor, it kind of goes away. And I feel like I'm helping my hair along, even though I may be stripping those oils. I do pre poo so I'm putting oils there, and then I know, but I'm washing the pre poo out. But then I'm also um, putting special treatments on my hair after it's dry, so... I don't feel as if I'm damaging it, but he's a doctor, so, you know, but I, I'm not going to reduce the amount of times I, I'm washing my hair throughout the week. I'm pretty comfortable with it, and I like my hair to have a certain look and hold. So anyway, that's Dr. Oz's tips for today. This is Nilotica Shea Butter. If you have it and you've seen some reduction in your, the appearance of your scars, please let me know, or if it's worked for you in any other way. All right. Bye, guys.